sir. Yeah, no one came to your rescue. Well, no, no one came to my rescue. Well, it was very bad. I'm sure you have you have other work now, uh, mm -hmm. happily. You know, Jonathan, you're one of those people in my, uh, so pardon the expression, my continuing fascination with you. I always wonder when something happens in the news that's interesting, what would Jonathan Miller say about this? Maybe this is a definition of an interesting person. Um, let me put it, how shall I put this? Would you expose your children to the evil teachings of Charles Darwin in school? You know, we've just had another case of that, and... Well, you see, I'm, but, I'm astounded that there should be an issue about Charles Darwin. It's like the idea of exposing uh, children to the evil teachings of Isaac Newton. Uh, I mean, how, how can you possibly think that something which is true is, is wicked? Yeah. Um, recently, in the New York Times, a professor of social thought uh, expressed doubts about the theory of evolution and said, and gave the impression that the that the biological establishment was divided against itself on the subject. Um, but actually, yeah. there aren't any serious biologists who do not credit the idea of evolution. Um, he put forward the idea that um, a lot of the right-wing figures say, well, you know, it's only a theory. Um, uh, you know, it's not a fact. Uh -huh. Well, you know, we still talk about the, uh, the, the, uh, about the atomic theory. Uh, we still talk about the theory of gravitation. As if somehow there's a sort of idea that... that Scientific ideas graduate from theories to become facts, mm -hmm. as if they're on probation, and then finally receive accreditation and become these serious, <coughs> credible things called right. facts. Well, you see, facts are rather boring things, like water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. What there are is more or less plausible theories. And uh, of, of, of the plausible theories that are on offer about the, the origin of uh, species, it's extremely hard to think of an alternative one as plausible as the one that Charles Darwin offered with all the modifications which have been introduced subsequently. So the idea that this is wicked or evil seems to me to be so absurd. Um, well, I can't understand why there should even be a controversy. The idea being that it contradicts scripture, of course, and that there's... Well, there are lots of things that contradict. People take literally the idea that this, everything was made at once. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I respect uh, that view, uh, but uh, you simply can't fight against this view of the universe, which is self-evidently true. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is obviously the way things were. Um, the, the, uh, the, the idea of creation is not a hypothesis. It's not a, a statement which one can really take seriously at all. Whereas one can take the idea of the evolution of creatures by gradual modification and by the, the elimination of those who are less uh, fit as, as, as a serious one. Can you look around and see what's going to be eliminated now? What will be the next to go? Well, you see, it's not quite like... You see, again, you see, the view of evolution is the, is the idea that it's a frightful struggle to the, to the death, rather like the fight we saw um, on the clip a moment ago with, with, um, with Klaus. Now, it's not like that. Darwin never suggested that it was this struggle in which things died. It's a competition to, to, to obtain maximum representation of your genes in the next generation and in all subsequent generations. It's a relative matter of statistics, not an absolute life or death struggle. And it has no intent. It has no intent anyway. Right. But, and it's, 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 you have to think in terms of populations, not in terms of individuals. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, people put forward this idea of evolution as if it was this uh, heavyweight contest in which something is unconscious at the end of the fight, and then there is this winner but it's actually simply something which alters the distribution of genes. And the people find it very hard to understand that. Is that why you quit his play, because you didn't agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't agree totally. Oh, okay. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. <laughs>